Meanwhile, the Anglican Bishop of the West and Coordinating Bishop of Church of Nigeria North American Missions, CONAM, the Right Reverend Dr. Felix Orji, has commended the Primate of all Nigeria, His Grace, the Most Reverend Henry Ndokoba, for condemning the attempt of some individuals in ACNA to manipulate others to accept same-sex activities. It will be recalled that during the weekend, the Church of Nigeria stated its position on the recent gay development in ACNA as the cordon Agna to distance from the group, disciplined the Aryan bishops, priests and laity who signed the offensive pro-gay letter and reaffirmed Agna's commitment to all the fundamental of Orthodox Christian faith and the resolutions of the Gafcon Jerusalem declarations and statement. Bishop Oji for the cordon all to repent of their sins as they see God in this Lent season. The primate of the Church of Nigeria published a statement condemning the recent development in the Anglican Church in North America regarding the subtle attacks of those who are lobbyists and activists in the gay community within the Anglican Church in North America for attempting to manipulate the Anglican Church in North America to accept through the back door same-sex activity. And as the bishop of this diocese, and the coordinating bishop of the Church of Nigeria North American Mission, I want to say that we stand with our primate. And so we call on the primates of GAFCON to ensure that biblical orthodoxy is upheld in the prophecies of GAFCON by their example as they lead the way, and also by teaching the Bible and correcting the bishops and the clergy when they err astray from clear biblical teaching in matters of human sexuality. And it is also our prayer that every single one of us uses this season of Lent for self-examination and repentance.